hey guys welcome back i hope you're all having a wonderful and blessed day so today's video i'm coming on real quick to share with you my personal pocket bible and to explain how exactly i use mine so without further ado let me just go ahead and jump right in so this is my little on the go pouch and this is the pouch i carry with me whenever i'm out and about with my husband and we're running errands or if i just you know we're traveling and i want to take the word of god with me this is what I take. Instead of taking my normal big Bible, I'll take this one. So this little pouch, I just carry. Of course, we need highlighters and a pen. And this is a little kit that I keep together at all times. The stuff I put in here does not come out. <laughs> More pens because you can never have enough pens. And then page flags. Some page flags inside of this little pouch that was made to me by one of my lovely friends here on YouTube. And all it does is house these um, page flags, right? So then I have my pocket Bible. And then this here, of course, it has like little sticky notes. It's like a mini planner type keychain. So I keep that with me at all times. And now let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see if I can zoom you in a little bit. So the reason why mine is so chunky. And now mind you. This was one of the very first, first Bibles that I did make back in like whew, years back, right? So I just added a bunch of things on here, like little fun fibers and keychains and things that just make me happy. And I love this cover because every time that I think about the Word of God, I just think of us like blooming and flourishing in Him, right? So I customized it all to my liking. It may be a little bit much to others, but for me, it's perfect. So I just have a little pocket here. And then inside of here, in between these jellies, I have two Bibles. One's in Spanish and one, the other one is in English. And the reason for that is because when we would go out and evangelize, you know, it was we would attend a Spanish church. And where I'm at, there's majority, the majority here is Spanish speaking people. So the way that I use my pocket Bibles, I, I tab them off to know exactly where the New Testament is, the Psalms and the Proverbs. I tab it with my little page flags on important verses verses that you you know need to evangelize to people and that's how i have it and i mark them with highlighters so that i know exactly where the verse is i just got to flip through and also i have a little reading plan here I, I recently added this into my bible because i just want to see where my progress is whenever i do take this out on the road with me and read out of it I want to start marking off the books that I read. So I barely put this in here. This is new. And that's why nothing is marked. You know, it's all set up for 2023. And then in my English, um, my English Bible, here's a little pen loop. I made that with like uh, acetate and a clear pouch. And I just house my little pen there because, you know, we need pens. <laughs> so inside of my English Bible, I have yet to mark any of the verses I haven't ventured out into, you know, evangelizing to the English speakers. I just, sometimes I feel like my English is not 100% there, though I do speak it all the time. <laughs> so uh, I have the little sticky notes inside of this little bookmark right here. And then another little pen loop in where I carry a highlighter as well, in case this is all I'm carrying with me in my hand. And then this is a great conversation starter. People will see it and ask, like, oh, what is that? And it's so cute, you know. But yeah, so here is the second section of this whole thing. And here's where I keep three little notebooks. Now, these little notebooks, I just absolutely love having them with me because you can always, always use them to write people's petitions. You know, when you're out there, someone always asks, hey, can you pray for me? Can you pray for my marriage? My uncle, you know, there's always some kind of prayer, uh, a petition, a prayer request. So um, in this first journal, though, what I did is that I wrote about overcoming anxiety. And this was a scripture reading plan um, that was found on Pinterest. And what I did was that I wrote out every single verse, like day by day. I came in here and would write it out. So this was something I was doing on the daily, trying to, you know, stay in the word of the Lord. And yeah, the reason for this is because sometimes... We'll get the scripture reading plan and we just have the verses there. But I believe that when you actually have the scripture written out, it's 
it's kind of like a soothing thing for myself where I can just come in here. Uh, I see all the beautiful decorations and the word of God, and it just encourages me. Um, I tend to worry a lot. So that's something that I definitely want to have the scriptures about worry and anxiety and stress with me so that I know, like, why are you afraid? Like, you need to trust God, right? So then I also started doing the who I am in Christ because that's another thing that I battle with where sometimes, you know, the enemy likes to come in and remind me of my past and the things I used to do or whatever, you know, that I'm not forgiven and things like that. So um, I like to write the verses out and then the translation that I wrote it in. That way I, I know exactly what translation I got mine from. So now a tip that I do want to give you is that you can also use these to write out um, scriptures about, you know, the studies when you're out on, out on the road. Maybe you're listening to the radio and a sermon comes on and that's something that I tend to do a lot is I like to have notes of what I've listened to because something the, the preacher says may be ministered to me, you know. So to avoid stuff like this, I think it's important that you carry a scratch pad. So this is a uh, sermon that I was listening to and I actually, I have a different journal where I want to write this in. So... I think it's important because as you can tell, I have chicken scratch handwriting that you have a scratch pad so that this doesn't happen. You know, I don't want to damage my beautiful little journals doing this nonsense in here where I just scribbled out things all crazily. So that was something that I learned and a tip I can give you is that I have a little scratch pad. Dollar Tree sells these little um, pads like it's four of them for $1.25 and it's a great little thing where, you know, I just take notes down and then when I'm on some downtime reviewing my notes, I will come back in and write them all um, better. You know, <laughs> sometimes I can even read my own handwriting. It's like when inspiration hits, bam, I'm just writing and just boom, 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 you know. So then um, another thing is you can pre prep pages so that you don't have to worry about decorating the pages up. And, you know, knowing me, I always carry stickers and washi with me. So... I have a huge bag I carry with me to the parent pickup line and I will be making a video on that. I think this is going to post before that one. I'm not sure. But either way, you will see exactly what it is I carry with me when I go and wait in line for like an hour, two hours. And um, I just recently carried it with me. We had a little far drive to go on to and I have this ginormous bag in my lap. But I suggest that I love, love, love to carry um, things that make me happy as like my Bible and all the little journaling bits and bobs. So here's another journal. This journal here is blank. I haven't wrote anything in here, but as I said, you can totally use this for prayer requests. You can totally use it to use to write out sermon notes, maybe in church. Um, but yeah, I just gave myself extra journals because I uh, would rather have it and not lack it than lack it and then wish I had it, you know? If that makes any sense. But that is what I do carry inside and how I use my little pocket Bible. Um, I hope you found some ideas, some inspiration. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and ask. Um, I do have two more available, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for buying them. I have the Flourish and I believe Promises still available. If you guys are interested, please check out the video before this one. I believe it's called uh, Mini Bibles for Sale. To see the flip, I did mark in the description which one sold. But um, with that being said, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day and that you found some inspiration. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.